guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm cassie and today i have another crystal haul for you so this will be part two of my crystal haul i've got so many crystals to go through with you guys there's going to be quite a few parts i think so please do keep on watching um please remember to like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get into it so as I've said before, if you have seen part one of my crystal haul, I have been writing down in my book here where I have purchased crystals from, etc. So I'll link them all down in the description box below so you guys can go and check them out if you fancy it. Um, a lot of my crystal hauls or crystals that I've purchased are from Instagram. So I will link all of the Instagrams and like websites and things down below. So if you want to go and check them out. Okay, so first up, I'm going to show you my little haul from Crystal Moon Tree. Again, she's on Instagram, so I will show you what I got from her. Um, I absolutely love her crystals. The quality is just fantastic. She's got such high quality items. So first up from her, I picked up a malachite slab. This is my first piece of malachite. And I love it. I just love how it's like a paint swirl. That is the piece of malachite that I picked up from her. I also picked up a couple of points. So first one is this lipidolite point. And I just love how dark the lipidolite is. It really draws me in. It's just such dark purple. And so sparkly too. So that's the, the lipidolite point. I also picked up a strawberry quartz point, which I think is also known as red adventurine. But honestly, when you look through it, it just looks like sort of mashed up strawberry and quartz. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. So that's that one. Next up, I picked up this really cute green adventuring dinosaur. He's so big. Look at his little face. So he's going to look fabulous on my, on my crystal stand or crystal display. I also picked up a pink scholar's like cloud and I just love how much you can see like the contrast between the pink and the white on this pink scholar site. So that's beautiful. And I also picked up a really small pink scholar site tower. Just a diddy one. But if you guys know like pink scholar site is really hard to get hold of and it's quite an expensive crystal too. So that's those. Such a cute cloud. And then I also picked up, and I don't know, oh, nearly dropped that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think it's Thulite. But this is a Thulite tower. Again, this is a really expensive crystal. So to have like a small quantity of it was a really good, co a really good price that I purchased from Crystal Moon Tree. So she's beautiful. And then as well as all that, I also got a freebie. And I love a freebie. Not necessary, not, it's not necessary, but I absolutely love getting them. And this is a really purple, sort of flashy tumble stone. Such a good grade of amethyst. Don't know if you can see those, but it's so sparkly. So I love that one. And that's everything from Crystal Moon Tree. Next up, I purchased from the Crystal Twins on Instagram and I picked up this really cute Agate Slice Butterfly. And I think it's so clever how they put this together. It's like a metal butterfly sort of frame and they pop two Agate Slices in as the wings. So that's got a nice bit of druzy bit in there. But yeah, really, really cute. This would be perfect outside. But obviously with like the weather, etc., I wouldn't want it to weather because it's just so beautiful. So this is going to go nicely on my crystal display. I also picked up my first peach moonstone palm. And I don't know if you've seen any videos before, guys, but you know. Look at that flash. She's so stunning. I love, love, love peach moonstone. Look, oh my God. She's such a show off. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Peach Moonstone's a massive fave of mine. So that's my Peach Moonstone palm. And then I also picked up a, another chunk of Orca Agate. This one's a lot more white on her. 
but this is like a really good sort of chunk that you can have and obviously if you need it with you you can take it with you or just leave it in the display that's absolutely fine but she's so beautiful I'm obsessed with orca agate too i don't know if she'll stand up by herself no she might have to just lie down yeah that's fine and then finally from the crystal twins i also picked up this really beautiful golden healer heart and I feel like everyone needs a bit of golden healer in their life. You can't see on here, but she definitely has got some flashy rainbows in her. And when I say flashy rainbows, it just means when you sort of see her in a certain view, there's like a little rainbow inside. But she's gorgeous. Love her. So that's everything from the crystal twins next up is my purchase from danny moore metaphysical um i believe she's called on instagram she's also on facebook and i believe i've got her on whatsapp too um but i'll set i'll pop the link down below for the best um sort of point of contact which i believe would be instagram that's where i found her anyway um but i purchased quite a few towers from her so first up, I'm going to show you the Howlite point that I got from her, or Howlite Tower, which I absolutely love, Howlite. I really like the dark bits, just sort of contrasting against the white on the Howlite. And they're super pointy too. So that's my Howlite point. I also picked up this point, which I believe is a common opal. Um, I've not seen it before, and if I'm honest... Um, I do kind of get the opal point of it, but I've not seen this crystal before. Um, nevertheless, though, she is beautiful. Nice big point on her. So that is a common opal. Next up, I picked this beauty up. Um, I thought she might have been strawberry quartz, but the more I look at her, the more she looks like a sort of lavender rose quartz. Um, but again, it doesn't matter because she's gorgeous. Um, when you compare her to my, when you compare her to my actual rose quartz, she definitely looks more like, um, sorry, when you compare her to my strawberry quartz, she definitely looks more like a sort of lavender rose quartz. But yeah, she's stunning. Love her. I'm obsessed with crystals. Next up is, again, a unicorn stone. There's the pink tourmaline, you've got the smoky quartz there and then the purple mica sort of lipid light running through. Um, but definitely I thought this was a lipid light just to begin with. But the more you look at her, the more you can see obviously like the pink tourmaline and the, and the smoky quartz running through her too. So she's gorgeous, really chunky too, really chunky size. I've noticed with like unicorn stone, um, other than the palm stone, some of them can be quite smoky. Um, and like a lighter sort of version of the stone. But yeah, gorgeous. I picked up some smaller pieces as well. So this is a Labradorite tower. And just look at that blue flash. Gorgeous. Where else has she got a bit of flash on her? So she's got like a light sort of turquoisey, yellowy colour there. And it seems to be on both sides. So there's the huge blue flash. It's a little bit on the bottom there. But you've got that huge blue flash. And then that sort of turquoisey. If I can get her in the right light. Sort of turquoisey yellow flash there. But she's beautiful. I love Labradorite. It's so... It just varies between each stone. You can have like really dark blue flash. You can have a lighter blue flash. A yellow flash and then I have seen some recently that I've got like a pink purple flash I definitely want to get some more of those because they're just stunning and then finally I also picked up this really cute moss agate point um, I fall in love with moss agate and this is the kind of moss agate I like when it's like sort of the white quartz in there little druzy bits and then the green just sort of coming through very much like how like where it sort of contrasts um, but that one's a cutie not sure if you can actually see sort of how druzy she is. This quality on this camera is awful. But that's that one. 
And then I also picked up a carnelian point. Again, carnelian is great. It's got so many healing properties to it. So that's that one. And then I picked up some mini sort of pocket size crystals. I picked up a blue star. I'm not sure if this is dyed howlite or if this is another type of crystal. But I liked the colour, so I picked that one up. I picked up the gold sandstone heart. The mini minis. A blue sandstone heart, and you can really see how flashy and glittery she is. And then I also picked up a Dalmatian Jasper star. And they're perfect for like just popping in your pockets if you wanted to take them out. Or I am actually looking into venturing into like making um wire what are they called like wired necklaces um so they would be perfect for like making pendants etc so that's those and then next up i wanted to show you what i picked up from lily and lacy again all the links will be down below guys for you but i picked up a clear quartz point from her and the camera's not picking up the quality but honestly she is so clear just absolutely beautiful example I also picked up a zebra jasper point. Now this is my first proper zebra jasper point. I love, I just love the contrast of like the really dark against the white. I think it's gorgeous. My zebra jasper point. You can't see them very well there, but two red jasper tumbles. And this was in like a mystery bag. I think we might have picked up a bag that basically someone had put back. So me and my sibling Parker had to split that between us. And a an amethyst chunk it's a lot more sort of put deep purple at the point there almost reminds me of like a root but it's sort of polished on the top and then raw on the bottom so she's beautiful and then i also picked up this carbide what's it called carbide crystal um which i believe is man-made i might be wrong I'll pop some information about it because I have no idea. But super, super sparkly. And I love that it's got like a blue tinge to it as well. Almost like a metallic crystal. So yeah, I love that one. So that's everything from Lillian Lacey. And I will stop it there because I've got so many more to go through. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you all again in the next video. Bye, guys.